Yo, I'm back again and today we've got a Shakhtar Donetsk player ratings brav and an updated version. Shout out Kyle, you get me? So, um, nickname, The Miners, you get me? Man, that man, I'm really digging because this is a gold hunt, you get me? So it's, it just ties in perfectly, you get me? But yeah, um, continental competition, Super League, bruv. Uh, listen, that Super League, yeah, speak, you know. I can't lie, bruv. Like, obviously, as a former Arsenal fan, I don't mind it because I would change anything, bruv. Like, as long as I don't have to go to Burnley away no more. I mean, as long as they don't have to go to Burnley away no more, I don't really care. You get me? So that that's just my personal opinion. I don't, I don't really mind change, but obviously the whole world is against what I just said. But I, I don't really give a fuck in it. But yeah, um, European Champions Cup is the competition like right now in it. Um, history. Um, yeah, it's, it's an immaculate one, it is. And obviously, right now, they're not going to win the league because Dynamo Kiev are absolutely tearing that league apart right now, bruv. Yeah, so um, let's let's just get into the squad. Remember, yeah, um, I am now adding an element of contracts into this, bruv, like like an actual element, yeah. Shout out B Y I G U or, or B I W I mean, B I Y I G U, bruv. Um, he said that I should um, add the aspect of who I should look to renew the contract or who you need to look to sell. So, man, man's going to add that in as well. So, yeah, we're going from Andriy Piatov all the way to um, Bogdan Vnik, bruv. You get me? So, yeah, let's see what these men are. In goal, we've got Andriy Piatov, bruv. Now, I see um, sweeper keeper defend, so he can play goalkeeper defend. Um, he's got 12 agility, 14 reflexes and uh, 13 one on one so obviously um how long does he have left about a year let him go just let him go don't even renew the contract bruv i mean don't don't even like sell him or anything because i don't think you'll be able to get money he's 36 bruv so just let him go for free and you get me like the stats bruv they're 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 not there anymore bruv like man's just got okay reflexes and that's about it i mean mentally as they all do they'll be good mentally because he's been in the game for so long but apart from that no longer levels, bruv. Just hang up the boots in it. Simple as, bruv. So, yeah, let's move on, bruv. Next, we've got Oleksiy Shevchenko. Um, they call him an emergency backup. Now, um, oh, man, 11 agility, um, 12 reflexes, 12 one-on-ones. Listen, if there's an emergency, I ain't calling you. What? You mad, bruv? That's ne never happening, man. Sell him me immediately. When the window opens, sell him immediately, bruv. Don't even waste your time. Like, he's already transfer listed and with good reason. You get me? And it's not even worth, a, not even value that a meal. Like, like, I mean, his value is a mil, but you can't even get a mil for him. That just told you the levels, bruv. He's just not levels. Simple as. He's 28 as well. Just just let him go as well. He's fucking shit. Sell him, bruv. You get me? R rubbish player. Cool. All right. Next, we've got Yevhen um, Hiritskinko, bruv. Um, another sweeper keeper defend, goalkeeper defend, bruv. Oh, my goodness gracious me. What the fuck is this, bruv? I pray because there's four goalkeepers I've done three. All of the three are fucking shit so far. So you've literally got one more chance, bruv, because obviously this guy, he's got good agility. His one-on-ones are, are then nine, bruv. And and he's got, what, 11 reflexes. He's 25. So there's no excuse. You're a big man. Like, you're, you're, you're a big man and, and you can't even fucking... Nah, he's shit, bruv. Let me get off this car before I get angry, bruv. And of course, the one, like, half-competent goalkeeper they have is fucking 18. <laughs> like, like, of course it is, bruv. I mean... He's 18. The guy is six foot six. What the fuck, bruv? Like, he's moving mad still. I mean, he's 2024. Um, I mean, his contract expires in 2024. You might as well keep him and play him like, as the first choice. You might as well, bruv, because he can only get better. Like, he's 18. And to be fair, for an 18-year-old, yeah, he's not even, like, the end of the world, if I'm being honest. Like, he's got very good agility. Reflex is under average by one. One on one's under average by two. Now, if you were to improve those, like, I would say within three years, you could get them all to about 14 minimum. So, like, it's, it's, it's very possible still to make him a good sweeper keeper defend or goalkeeper defend, you get me? So, man, will definitely keep him on the contract that he's on, bruv. Just keep him there. Um, He's, he's got potential. That's the word that I was looking for. He's, he's got potential still, man. Like, Antoli Chubin, little potential goalkeeper right there. Cool. All right, next you've got David Koshkolov Kabaf. Um, now, this guy, he is 27. My goodness me, okay, he claims central defender, I mean, I'm expecting a little hybrid between ball playing and no-nonsense, bruv. Um, six technical ability, nine vision, 11 passing, that's one out of the window. 12 tackling, that's two out of the window, bruv. So, obviously, he's useless then. Like, I mean, he's strong, Um, he can jump in the air and direct headers and that, but that's not good enough, really. I mean, he's, he's, ah, oh, hell no, bruv. He's, he's staying till 2024, no way, bruv. Next window... If he hasn't just signed a new deal, you need to get rid of him immediately because he's absolutely awful, bruv. Like, I can't believe I'm still here. Let me get off this card, bruv. 
All right, next we've got Sergi Kreef Strothbrev. Um, now, he is 29. Um, his contract expires in 2023. Let's see if we're, we're going to keep him or try and sell him next window, yeah. Um, physically, um, obviously, in terms of side to side, it's absolutely mythical. Like, anyone with a bit of pace, yeah. Like, I'm talking for the first couple of yards, they'll burn him still because he's going to take a while to speed up firstly and secondly, fucking turn around, bruv. But one thing I can say, and I've seen it so many times, is that when they eventually turn around with that dead agility, yeah, uh, man are just ducking man down, bruv. And it's, it's just happy. It happens all the time, bruv. It happens all the time. Still, man just get ducked down. Like, man, man will really come back still. I'm not, I'm not lying, bruv. In the high line, yeah, he'll come back still. Um, strength on a different, on a different planet, 17 strength. That's, like I said, full steeled energy, bruv. Um, in terms of like the jumper region, that he's actually very good in the air as well. And he can win the ball. He claims central defender. Um, personally, although he might be able to do a central defender thing, I would actually put him no-nonsense because I think he'll probably provide the best value as a no-nonsense. Considering man don't fear no one willing to dive into any tackle, bruv. Like, it's, 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 not, it's not that bad, can't lie. So, for me, my will put him on um, no-nonsense and I, I will let him stay still. Obviously, in terms of renewing deals, I, I, I might have to give him a new contract as well still. Like, he, he actually looks a good like, a good no-nonsense centre-back. Can't lie, man, like Sergi Kristoff, bruv. He's, he's actually not that bad still. Cool. All right, next we've got Valerie Bonda. Um, he's 21 on a little centre-back. No-nonsense, damn. Okay, 13 tackling, 15 marking. What's the positioning? 13. Yeah, he can kind of pull it off for a 21-year-old. Um, Physically... Bear 12s and 13s in there. Um, that's that's good for a 21-year-old, you know, because they can definitely very easily get to 14s, 15s, bruv, in the future, you get me? Um, obviously, right now, mentally, I think the composure is not the best and concentration, it's just the composure that's the main thing, bruv. Decisions aren't even that bad. And he's actually got a decent pivot. So, to be fair, he could actually pull off a little ball playing defender thing. Like, I think that'll probably suit him better. Can't even lie. Because um, his pivot's actually not that bad. He's literally 12, 12 and 12. And he's got an okay first touch as well. And he can kind of win. But I think ball playing will suit him better. The only thing that's stopping him from doing that right now is the composure. Meaning that you're going to have to double intensity. That I'll probably do that first. I can't lie. I'll probably double intensity the composure first still. But yeah, he's here till 2024. Man will let him stay still. And then when that time comes, I'll definitely renew that deal still. So yeah, man like Valerie Bonda. Um, he's, he's actually, for the, for the future, he's not that bad. Still cool. All right, next we've got Mikola Matvienko. Now, all right, next we've got Mikola Matvienko. Now, um, in a straight line, he's actually got good pace, bruv. Obviously, side to side, he's vulnerable. When you mix the agility with the tackling, a nibbity winger, well, a winger that has good dribbling, flair, unpredictability, all of that, yeah, they're, they're definitely going to cook him still. Um, he'll definitely keep up with him, but in terms of making that tackle, I don't really trust him still. Um, you're probably going to have to focus on him um, going forward, which is the crossing. Um, I met him on attack. I just put him on support, bruv. Um, I think because he's on support, it will suit him better because he's got a better cross than he has dribbling. So he's not really that direct. He has to cross early. You get me from the area where the marker is, bruv. Man's going to be crossing from there still. Um, if they've got a big striker, he'll, he'll do well there still, um, giving him service and that. But in terms of a new deal, um, he, he's, he's good enough. You get me? He can do a lot of things. As you can see, he's got a lot of things that he can do, bro. So he's definitely quality enough still. If I had to improve one thing, it would be the passing because that is unacceptable, bruv. And then after that, I'll probably do the dribbling and then tackling, bruv. But if you've got enough time, that'll probably take about three years, bruv, three seasons to, to improve those significantly anyway. So yeah, that's that's what I'll do with a man like Mikola Matvienko, you get me? Um, he's a good player though, good player. All right, next you've got Dodo. Um, he's 21, wing back attack, bruv. So I need good dribbling. He's got very good dribbling. Um, getting to the byline is not looking like a problem for him because he's got mad flair as well. And a pace, bruv, 15 acceleration. So it's definitely a straight line thing as well, bruv. Now, one thing that I don't usually see here uh, from fullbacks, especially, is mad strength. But like, this guy is five foot five with fucking 16 strength, bruv. What the fuck, bruv? What? Like, he's just fucking wham. Like, he's just wham, bruv. So he's barging man away at speed, bruv. Literally moving mad, bruv. He is. So um, have to give him the respect that he deserves in that sense, bruv. In terms of end product, though, um, Pivot is 14 technical ability, firm vision and 12 passing. So we can kind of pass the ball for a 21-year-old, bruv. Um, first, first touch, 12. Chasing that a little bit. Like, I can't lie, he is in it. And crossing 12. So um, for a development thing, it's not even that bad. Can't lie. Like, as long as you can develop his crossing, his passing overall, definitely the tackling, bruv. If not, 
and put him on complete wing back if you don't want to improve the tackling. But yeah, um, apart from that, he's got good potential. His contract expires in 2025. Man will let him stay. When that time comes, man will renew that deal still because he's actually got potential. Man like Dodo, bruv. Good player. I know this guy. I know his mail. I know about his mail, bruv. Now, this guy, madness, bruv. Like, he, he's, he's just ridiculous. The only problem that I have right now... It's not even his in it's not even in his control. He's got an uh, injury for five to seven months, bruv, and he's thirty. Meaning that what you see right now might not even be there by the time he's back from injury. That's the that's the problem that I have. So I'm gonna mark it as if he's not injured, bruv, but just be aware that some things when he comes back might not be there still. So let's just start off with the main one, which is pace, bruv. Sixteen pace, sixteen acceleration, bruv. In a straight line. Man's gone for a thirty year old, he's gone. Can't lie. Eighty natural fitness, so he takes good care of himself as well, bruv. Um now, the, the thing that separates this guy, bruv, from a lot of other um, wingbacks here is the gets full whenever possible thing. Mix with the dribbling and the crossing, bruv. 17 dribbling for a flipping defender. What, bruv? What? Like, man's literally a false winger. Like, I've said it before, man like James Tavernier, their man there, their man are literally false wingers, bruv. Like, their man are just literally dribbling the same way a winger does, but just with an extra bit of tackling in there. That is literally it, bruv. Like that, that's it. Like he's quality still. Um, in terms of the pivot, fourteen technique, twelve vision, thirteen pass. The man's got a decent pass him as well. First touch cushioning that as well. Overall, he's a brilliant defender. Did I even mention the crossing? I don't know if I mentioned the crossing, but I'm gonna mention that now. In terms of him getting to the byline and making the delivery, he's banging assists after assists, bruv. Like he's moving truly mad still. Man, like is mainly he's a very good player still. And like I said at the beginning of when I said this guy, um about the injuries and that just be aware that some of these things might not be there but yeah his contract expire, expires in 2023 i'm 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 probably okay it all depends on the injury i can't like i don't know what he's gonna look like bruv but you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna be optimistic say that he's gonna only lose the physicals which is the pace and that but because he's got like mad dribbling and crossing i don't even really mind bruv like man will keep him anyway give him a new deal still yeah man like he's mainly cool all right, next we've got Marquinhos Cipriano, um, 21, um, complete wing back on support, bruv. Now, um, 10 technique, 9 vision, but 12 passing. So the pivot is not the greatest, let's be real. You're meant to be on support. You can just about pass the ball, you get me? Now, um, tackling is better than what I usually see from complete wing backs, you get me? Um, in terms of movement, he's going to take a while to get to 14 pace, but he's still moving, just not at like, he's not, he's not going to get to that um, speed quickly still, but he's still moving because of the agility, you get me? Now, um, very composed and surprisingly, man's got 14 finishing for a left back, bruv. What the fuck, bruv? What? So, so he's literally like, um, I don't even know. How is this going to work on support? Because support, they don't really get into the box like that. Maybe if it's on attack, then you can do a little certain with that still. Because these men will get to like the, the byline, like getting in the box and that, like their actual wingers, bruv. And if he's got 14 finishing, man could bang a couple goals. Do you get me? So... Um, if you believe in that, then do it in it personally. Um, twelve dribbling, twelve crossing. I I don't know how well it's gonna work, bruv. I don't know how well it's gonna work. All I can believe is that the ball will eventually drop to him and he will eventually score a flipping goal from a highlight, bruv. It's one of those ones still. Um, yeah, man, like Marquinhos, Cipriano, bruv. Um, if you believe in wing backs coming and then banging goals, then this guy, this is the guy for you still. But personally, I I don't really know about I don't really know about this guy too tough, man. I don't I don't know if I can really agree with this still but um if i had to renew the deal i don't know if i'm gonna do that still can't lie um man's probably gonna let him go still can't lie man will just say you know what actually you know he's 21 oh shit he's 21 okay you know because he's 21 yeah man's gonna try and improve the pivot still um specifically technical ability bruv man will move to that first still and because he's 21 i'll give him a chance but if he was any older hell no it's because of his age bruv cool all right, next we've got Sergi Bobet, bruv. Um, his contract expires next season. So let's see if we need to renew that. Um, he's got good pace in a straight line. Agility is not really there. Um, 15 technical ability, which is very good. 14 dribbling and 14 crossing. So in terms of getting to the byline, um, like picking up the ball and driving, he, he won't really have an issue doing that, bruv. Like he won't really have one. The only thing for me, mental disaster. And that's, probably the reason why i'm not going to renew the deal like he's 27 so it's not like he's an absolute oldie but man's just can't be doing with the mental thing still like he's going to get to the byline and instead of like oh uh, it's because 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 of like the, the decisions and that bruv no composure bruv tackling 11 oh hell no hell to the no bruv i ain't i ain't dealing with that still like 
I'm as, as well as good as it could be going forward. Yeah, I'm just thinking going back. It's 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 absolutely mythical, bro. Like defending wise, it's peak under pressure, especially if you're trying to play it from the back with this guy. He's going to get absolutely swarmed, bruv. When I mean swarm, man's got 10 first touch. That's inviting pressure. Man's got 10 composure. Inviting pressure, bruv. Like, he's going to get absolutely fine. And 11 tackling as well. Just believe. He's going to get absolutely spun around, bruv. Like, it's, it's not going to look nice still. Um, for some reason, he knocks ball past the opponent. Oh, wait. Because he's got no first touch, bruv. Safe. Let's, let's just say I am not renewing that deal still, man. That's Sergi Bowl back call. Cool. All right, next you've got Victor Kornienko. Um, he's 21. Contract expires in 2025, so he's got a long time, bruv. He's a youth player, um, well, in the youth academy bracket, bruv. Good pace in a straight line, not really that agile, bruv. Decent balance, though. Um, pivot, 13 technique, 12 vision and 14 passing, so playing that from the back is not a problem at all. Um, composed as well. He's got the grit, like 17 work rate, determination, 14 aggression, bruv. Um, the only thing for me is the tackling, which you cannot improve, but I believe by playing them week in, week out, it would naturally improve it anyway, bruv. If you're playing him in a defensive position now, I've clocked that he's not actually a normal left back. He's a natural wing back, bruv. So um, if you believe in that, um, you know what? He it, it, it might suit him better due to his tackling. I can't lie, bruv. Um, dribbling needs to improve as well. Yeah, this is this is a development player. You need to improve some things here. So you need to improve the dribbling, some some crossing as well. And, and the tackling, you can't really improve that manually. So you just have to hope and pray that improves still. Um, but overall, he's actually got potential still. Man will definitely keep him. Like, he's got potential in it. Like, he's a good player still, man. Like, Victor Kornienko, cool. All right, next we've got Alan Patrick, bruv. Um, his contract expires in about two seasons, bruv. Um, yeah, because we're in 2020. So, with him now, he's apparently an advanced playmaker on attack. Um, I look at the pivot, I see 12 technique, 12 vision and 13 passing. Overall, an under average pivot. Meaning, you have to probably play Mazzella still. Um, reason why now... Just look at the pace in the midfield. Like in the midfield, yeah, in a straight line, he's moving in it. Like he's gone still for a pace. He's gone, and he can dribble. So when he picks up the ball and he drives with good flair as well, it will suit him better to to be in a Mazella because a Mazella, to, the way to spot a Mazella, yeah, the way that I always spot a Mazella is just think to your head, think in your head, yeah, can they play on the wing? And if they can. There, Mazella, bruv. Literally, bruv. Literally. So, yeah. Um, for Mazella, he's actually not that bad still. Um, 12 long shots, 11 finishing, but they're, they're, it's, it's, it's not really that important. Like he's, 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 he'll do a good job still. Um, he's 29. I'm thinking if I'm going to renew the deal now. Um, yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a mad question still. Am I going to renew this deal if I'm the manager? Um, you know what? You know what? Um, no, nah, I'm I'm not gonna do it. Still, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna renew the deal. But I know the best thing to play for him is a Mazella. Still, that's that's literally it. Yeah, because I oh, he's gonna take a lot of souls in the midfield as well. But yeah, I think because the pivot can't be saved, bruv. Um, man just lost all hope in the pivot still. And you know me, you know I love a good pivot. You get me, man. Like Alan Patrick. Sorry, but I can't. I can't. I, I mean, not sorry. Yeah, but man, man's just not gonna. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, next we've got Maycon. You get me? Um, 14 technique for any vision, 14 passing. Um, what role is he claiming? Deep playing playmaker. You know me, you know that's my favourite midfield role. That's a big role right there. Can he fulfil that? Hell no, bruv. I mean, he's 23, but still. Like, about to escape to Youth Academy in terms of age bracket. Composure, 11. Anticipation, 12, bruv. First touch, 13, which is decent. But overall, he hasn't really got the source required, bruv. I mean, he's got an okay pivot, but I do need you to be comfortable under pressure, to play that role and he's just not that comfortable still so what you're gonna have to do is play him as an advanced playmaker on support and hide him in a possession system <laughs> like literally that's what you do with these man and he's already got the play short simple passes i did a very a video earlier bruv about traits bruv like someone like kaiser ruiz like man will just put them in a little um, system where you can hide them in a little um, possession system where they're just passing the ball short and and forward but short you get me and and yeah just just hire them and then eventually their pivot will improve then sell them on for money and things like that but yeah overall when i look at the contract now expiring in 2023 um that's that's big still um would i take my time out to improve this guy or would i just go out and buy another one because he's 23 i'm not gonna lie i'm probably gonna buy another one still i'll probably um sell him is selling him i mean i just saw 16 long shots would you would you have to sell this guy? Um, I would probably keep him on the bench. Can't lie. Um, or if I don't keep him on the bench, I'll send him on loan, get first team football, then keep him on the bench still. But he's not. He's never going to be a starter for me still. 
but yeah, um, that's that's man like Macon, bruv. Yeah, he's he's gonna be a squad player for forever, bruv. Unless I decide to sell him one day, that's what he'll be. Man like Macon, cool. All right, next we've got Marcos Antonio, um, a gem, bruv. Um, for Mazella, he's a gem. Can't lie, bruv. Um, what separates him from a lot of Mazella's is the, the decisions, bruv. Because to have the ability to be running at pace in the midfield like that and still make the right decisions to pop off a pass, it's brilliant, bruv. I can't lie, bruv. Like, let's just say. You're, you're a CDM and you're waiting. You're like one of them Nemanja Matiches of this world and you wait for people to come to you. Get spun, bruv. Like, listen, if you see someone like this running to you at speed, yeah, you're going to want to engage with them. But if you don't engage, he has the intellect to pop off a pass, bruv. If you do engage, man can just run literally through you, bruv. Literally. Like, man's got the pace, so he can literally just run around you. Like, it's it's, it's not hard still. Man, like, um, Marcos Antonio, he's, he's got a good pivot. 15 technique, 14 vision and 14 passing. It's a very good pivot. Controlling the ball as well. See, this is what I like about him. He can actually control his speed, bruv. You get me? Very good off the ball as well. Dictates tempo. What? Who does this guy think he is? Comes deep to get ball. Yeah, he's he's a baller. I can't lie. Man like Marcus Antonio. Like, what's what's the flair? Full team. Yeah, he's a good baller. Because he's only 20, man will, I think for the first thing that I will improve, it'll be the dribbling still. Because I want him to be very, very comfortable on the ball. He's currently, I'll say, um, just about comfortable. But if you get him very comfortable, which is like a 14 to a 15, then then it's a true problem. But he's not a wonder kid for no reason. Like he's he's genuinely a, a very good player, man. Like Marcus Antonio. And in terms of contract, I'm obviously going to let him stay and give him a new deal because he's going to be a massive asset to the team. Cool. All right. Next we've got Tyras Stepanenko. Um, thirty ball in the midfield, midfielder on defense. Eleven technical ability. Twelve vision and thirteen passing. Um, yeah, these men there personally not for me, but I can still mark them. Well, I can still rate them. Um, these guys um, stand around, wait for people to come to them and just boot their shin pads, literally. That's all they do because when they're on the ball, they're useless, bruv. First touch, 10, bruv, what? M- move, bruv, like, he dived into tackles. He's just there. He's like an extra centre-back that you put in front of your f- two centre-backs already. That's all he is, bruv. When you play him, you play a three at the back, bruv. That's all you're doing, still can't lie. Um, but yeah, for what he does, he's not that bad. But obviously, it's just personal preference, really. But um, obviously, because of personal preference, I'm not going to um, renew the deal. But if I'm like someone that actually does like use, like to use these guys, then I would because he's not actually that bad for what he does still. Like I said, it's personal preference. So yeah, that's my like Tyra Stepanenko. Cool. All right, next we've got Maxim Malyshev. Um, he's 27 years of age. And um, that is, uh, you know what, you know, I was about to say that is it, but I can be real. He can kind of win the ball, good marking as well. Um, he's a halfback. Anytime I see a dusty role like that, I always just assume the worst. And as you can see, there's not really much to take from this guy apart from that he lasts long. I don't really care if another man lasts long. I don't. That's not none of my fucking business. You get me, like man. Man's determined, work rate, bro. Not even that aggressive, but yeah, he's just passion. Really, that's it. That that's all these men are, bro. Yeah, man, like Maxim Malishev. But obviously, I'm not giving him a new deal. Can't lie. Cool. All right, next we've got Tete. Um, now he is an inverted winger on support um, in terms of movement it's very very good 16 acceleration 15 agility and 15 pace so he's got movement um, 17 technical ability as well which is very very good um, vision 12 passing 12 so the pivot overall is just average but he's got a very good technical ability now first touch cushioning that bruv little marshmallow thing when it comes to comfort bruv of the first touch the way the ball's getting comfort with that first touch madness bruv and what I don't see a lot and and it's really surprising is that his dribbling is only 13. But I'm going to be real. Let me be real. Yeah, I'm still going to keep him because um I know that he's only 20. If you were to double intensity of the dribbling, it's going up, bruv. And then you've got yourself a very good player. 14 dribbling. I mean, 13 dribbling and 14 flair for now is, is just okay. But you could get it much, much better. The ball could actually get stuck to this guy's foot because it's only 13. One away from 14. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's not that bad still. Um, in terms of finishing and that 12 finishing eight long shots but the pivot overall is not that bad yeah, he's a decent winger still I'll, I'll give him a new deal I'll definitely develop him still he's a development player so I'll definitely develop him man like Tete cool alright next we've got Fernando Um, he's 21 yeah I mean I mean, he's fast very 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 good in terms of movement bruv he knocks ball past the opponent lying to you that's because he cannot dribble and his first touch is in the gutter mate can't lie um so, so for me, man's just going to have to say lost calls, bruv, and move on swiftly. So. All right, next we've got Eugene Konoplyanka, bruv. Obviously, I remember him with having mad pace on FIFA back in the day, bruv. Obviously, right now, 
um, very good in terms of movement to this day. Balance not really there. So as I so as I make this video, he's currently wobbling with that dead balance, bruv. But anyway, very good technical ability. First touch, fifteen, and the ball stuck to his foot as well, bruv. In terms of the mentals, eleven decisions. He's thirty. What ten bravery? He's thirty. Like fuck, you know. Come on, man. You're thirty. Like like them them mentals should not be that bad right now. I can't lie to you, man. You're meant to be on attack. What's your finishing? Twelve long shots, fourteen. But because of your decisions, I can't really trust either of them because I know that in a dead end, you're going to absolutely bang it in there, bro. <laughs> you get me? So I can't really trust him still. For me, um, let me be real. How, okay, let, no, no, no. You know what? You know what? Am I going to renew this deal? It's expiring in about two seasons. I don't think I will. Can't lie. Like, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't think I'm going to renew this deal. Like, I just see him as a normal, fast, decent dribbler winger. That's it, bro. Because like, I've seen so many of them. It will not be hard to replace him, and I guarantee you, you'll find someone better and younger. Yeah, he's he had he's had his time. I'm not gonna say he's a shit footballer because he's not. I'm just saying that he's just like very replaceable at the moment because his career is pretty much you know at, at that stage where man can actually replace man like this. So yeah, man like Eugene Konoplyanka, man's not gonna renew that deal still. All right, next we've got Marlos Brav. Um, sixteen agility, sixteen um acceleration. Pace thirteen, so obviously he's lost the he's lost the yards. Obviously, very good technical ability, vision and passing are okay, bruv. Very good first touch, dribbling seventeen. Okay, so this guy is one of those slow but very like um brilliant dribblers. Like he's he's just a mad one, bruv. And as I always say, let me switch it from Bernardo Silva to flipping Zidane. I can't really say Zidane. The only reason why is because I wasn't really like alive when he was playing. You get me? Like, like, I wasn't really, like, focused on football back then, you get me? So, um, I, I don't really know too much about Zidane. I can only think of, like, highlight videos. So, you know, I'm still going to say Zidane because a lot of, like, my viewers will know who he is, you get me? So, so man like Zidane, yeah? Um, man, man's not that fast, yeah, but his dribbling is next to fucking, I, I don't know, God level, bruv, dribbling. So, so man, man I'll just say these men that are slow, they can still dribble a lot, bruv. As you can see, man's definitely breaking lines and not even at speed, so he's just taking a piss, bruv. At, at walking pace, man's dribbling through everyone, bruv, and they just cannot do a thing still. Um, but the only thing that I have in terms of end product, yeah, is it that great? Decisions. Ah, the decisions are 11, man. Can't lie, that's 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 a big, big blow, man. Can't lie, that's a very big blow. But for me, I'm not going to lie, I'm probably still going to keep him. Like, he's got he's got a lot more to offer than just, like, bad decisions. I mean, no, no, not, not just bad decisions, but he's not, like, the best finisher, but he can bang it from far. He can cross the ball. He's got a good pass on him. Like, he's, he's got okay end product overall. So just beware that sometimes when you're expecting a pass, he'll bang it, bruv. That's that's what you have to expect sometimes. But yeah, man, like Marlos, he, he's a good player. Man will definitely extend that contract by about another season or two. He's 32. I'll, I'll do that still, yeah. Man, like Marlos, cool. All right, next we've got Tyson. Um, or Tyson. Tyson, yeah. He's like the, the, the talisman of this team. You can obviously see why. Man's 32. He's still got mad pace, bruv. Like, what the fuck, bruv? Like, he's moving at 32. Like, that's that's very impressive still. Ball stuck to his foot. Like, flipping super glue, bruv. You get me? Spinning man around with that flair as well. Determination, bruv. Very good technical ability. He's got mad vision. The execution isn't really there. But with this guy, um, he's cutting inside from the left wing, so he's right-footed, bruv. Uh, what's the decisions? 14. Oh, he, oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's level still. Definitely level, bruv. Because man can definitely trust him to bang it from far. Like, man can trust him to do that still. Take long distance shots. Why not, bruv? Because man can trust you to do it, innit? Um, in terms of short distance, 11 composure is not really the best, but um, finishing 12 is just okay still. But yeah, I know that he can bang goals from far, bruv. Pivot is okay. He can get a couple of assists as well. So yeah, for me, very good off the ball as well. For me, man will renew that deal as well. It's expiring in like a year. Man will definitely give him a new contract as well. Very good player, man. Like Tyson, bruv. Cool. All right, next you've got Mana Solomon. Um... Contract expires in about two, three years, bruv. And, okay, let me be real. I'm mean, inverted winger on support, 15 technical ability, 12 vision and 13 passing. It's just a, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a decent pivot, bruv. Four winger, 12 agility, 12 acceleration, but 14 pace. So it's going to take him a very long time to get to that 14 pace. Plus, he's cutting inside with 11. I mean, with 12 agility, I ain't really trying to see that dead agility still. But because he's only 21, you can improve it. I just don't know how well it's going to improve, bruv. Like, it's, it's, you're going to have to choose one between acceleration or agility. That's that's the that's the level I'm talking about still. But yeah, um, mentally, it's um, it's under average a lot, can't lie. The main thing in the mentals is the determination, which is the highest, which is 15. Apart from that, composure, 13, which is good. Bravery, 11. 
and then decisions 11 as well um, what's his finishing 10 very good first touch very good dribbling what's his flair 12 yeah he's just average for me man man's just gonna turn into an average player in the future as well um someone like this i'm not gonna renew their deal can't lie bruv um i get he's young now but i can't really see like a lot of potential in him i can't bruv can't still man like um, man solomon man let's just move on all right next we've got dentino um what a name bruv you get me man's 31 advanced forward bruv can he dribble? Yes, he can. Um, can he create chances for other people? Kind of, bruv. Like, I'm just talking about pivot and that. 17 technical ability is very good. Can't really see what he's doing. And Parsons under average by one. Um, very good pace for a 31-year-old, bruv. My goodness me. Flair on a different planet as well. Like I said, man can dribble. He's got a first touch and he can shoot as well. So, in terms of banging goals, he's he's looking like a good goal scorer. What's his contract saying? Expiring in a year? I'll give him another year or two still. Like he's, he's got a lot more to give to you, man, still. He's, he's a good player, man, like Mana Solomon, man. Like He can take it on his own or he can bring other people into play. That's what I like about guys like this still. See, so yeah, man, like Den... I mean, did I just call him Mana Solomon? His name is flipping Dentino, bro. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, man, like Dentino. He's, he's a good player still, man, like Dentino. Cool. All right, next we've got Junior Moraes, bro. Um, pace 14. Um, I mean he's 33 like these men take very good care of themselves I can't even lie to you man so it extended, extended their contracts isn't even looking that bad I can't lie Um, obviously I'm going to ex extend this guy's contract I'll explain why right now yeah man can do the deep line forward thing advance forward actually not the advance I'll probably say complete as well because man can literally do anything bruv um, except from dribble and jump that's pretty much it because he can pass he can shoot he's, he's strong very good first touch bruv flair like he's a very good player in it off the ball man can't really keep keep up with this guy bruv not even just in terms of speed but his movement overall is just amazing bruv like yeah um he, he's got a lot to offer you still man can literally um take the game by the scruff of the neck and just dictate everything bruv from from striker like man's dropping deep and just linking everything like he's, he's one of those guys still very good player still a man like junior morales i'm surprised that he cannot play camp because he's actually got good decisions as well so it's it's very surprising, but you just can't play cam. But yeah, overall, man, man, like Junior Morales, I'll definitely extend that loan. I mean, fucking hell, that um contract for about another year or two still. Like he's got a lot to give you, man. Still cool. All right, next we've got Bogdan Vianik, bruv. Um, he's eighteen. Like that's that's a very good age for the stats that I'm about to read. Like, obviously he came, he claims advanced forward right now. The reason why I might let it run is because he's got fifteen dribbling, which is very very good still. So you can like he can claim advanced forward, but personally. You can also use that dribbling for another flipping role if it lets me find it, yeah? Poacher, I can't lie. If you was to tell him, because he's only 18, right to now, like I'm talking now, yeah? If he was to focus on getting his own goals now, then eventually his other things might improve, bruv. Because right now, if he gets his own goals, he's got what it takes right now. Like, he's got good pace to get in behind for a poacher. Good off the ball, so he's got movement against a low block, a low block as well. Flipping in the air, like, okay, now, nah, hell no, he's got six jumping reach, bro. I thought he would be fucking good, bro, but now he can direct headers on his height, though. And he knows where the goal is as well, and he can dribble. So for himself, he can bang goals, bro. However, there are some things that cannot be saved, bro. Like, my goodness me, man has got one anticipation, bro. So when the ball is about to drop, yeah, he just doesn't know that it's about to drop, bro. Like, he just doesn't know. He doesn't know, bro. That's mad, fam. How can man have one anticipation? Surely it cannot be that bad. That's a liberty taken right there. Fucking Liberty City, bruv. That's 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 disgraceful. I can't lie. Man like Bogdan Vienik, bruv. He's he's 18, but one anticipation. That can't be his fault. No way. Like, there's no way he has one. I, I can't believe that still. That's ridiculous, bruv. But yeah, um, I can understand like long throws and that, but anticipation, madness. But yeah, um, overall though, for what I just said, for a poacher, yeah, man will do a decent job there still. So yeah, that's man like Bogdan Vienik, bruv. If I had to extend that deal, he's expired in what a year? Definitely, I'll let that one run still. Like, my, 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 I'll definitely um, let him get a new deal still. Man, like, uh, overall, that team has actually got some very good quality, bruv. Couple gems in there as well. I can remember about one, two, one or two, three maybe gems, bruv. But yeah, um, got good quality in there overall, I can remember. But the only problem with that quality is that most of it is above the age of 29. But at least they've got natural fitness. You get me? <laughs> like, like it's, it's just one of those ones still. But yeah, um, that is Shakhtar Donetsk, bruv. Let's line these men up, bruv. You can read this club background if you want to, innit? But yeah, let's just line them up, bruv. All right, this is how I'm lining up Shakhtar Donetsk, bruv. You get me? Um, I've got Trubin in goal, 18-year-old, one for the future, you get me? Um, Then you've got Kornienko at left-back, bruv, on some little um, supporting wing-back support, bruv. Um, then 
Bonda, all playing defender. Um, he's got an okay pivot. He's one for the future as well, you get me. Then Christoph or oh, no nonsense, bruv. Yeah. And right back, Dodo. So I'm a hench midget, bruv. I'm joking. No, no, it's not personal. All the five foot five men out there. But yeah, this guy is kind of where I'm still, can't I? And then um, you've got Macon, um, an advanced playmaker. I hide him in a little possession system, which is a vertical, vertical ticky tacker that I'm doing, you get me? Then you've got Marcos Antonio, bruv. Um, wonder kid, bruv. Gem right there, you get me? And then Dentino, very good player. Can't lie, cutting inside, creating havoc, bruv. Very good player right there. Um, 31, Tyson, um, another very good player. 32, bruv. And then Tete, a brilliant player. And he's 20, but um, unfortunately, he's not really levels right now. Um, but in the future, he definitely will be, though. Just improve that dribbling, you get me? And then striker, deep line forward, um, whether it be deep line forward, um, whatever striker thing apart from maybe advanced role, but then again you can kind of do that as well any striker or man can pull that one off still man that junior I'm alright but yeah that is um, Shakhtar Donetsk bruv updated you get me so yeah um, you man if you like that video like that video subscribe to the content you know what to expect from me and I'll see you in my next episode bruv safe